What is going on there, ladies and gentlemen? Ace the Gamer here, bringing you guys another first installment of ranking Call of Duty games for next generation. This only means the Xbox One. I'm not going to talk about the old 360 games of Call of Duty, but um, this video it is opinion based type of video. So if you disagree with my ratings and all that, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Like always, guys, we are close to 1,000 subscribers, and I cannot wait for that. So I um, have a lot of good you know content coming up but um i'm gonna talk about all these games here and give a little bit of a rating so uh here we go for the least of my favorite call of duty is call of duty advanced warfare this is where it is this the start and the beginning of the futuristic cod um in my opinion this game was one of the worst call of duty games i ever played in my life um i'm a big call of duty fan i've been playing some since uh Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 days. And uh, yeah, Advanced Warfare, you know, introduced the exoskeleton movement. Uh, the game was way too ahead of its future. I mean, like, it's, they got at least wait a few more years to add on the jetpacks and all that because the Call of Duty community do not like jetpacks. And man, gotta give this game a 2 out of 5, man, because this is actually, you know what, let's raise the bar a little bit here. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 10. Yes, Advanced Warfare. Uh, the campaign side of the game was pretty cool, you know space traveling and all that but in multiplayer they did horrible man so uh, that's that two out of ten next up another installment of call of duty futuristic man this is call of duty infinite warfare this is the ending of call of duty uh, fan base and everyone you know literally said this game is worse than advanced warfare in my opinion it, it is worse than advanced warfare uh it was developed by um infinity word uh man I got this game on day one. I played a campaign. Okay, the thing about Call of Duty is that they have a very good campaign, but the multiplayer is starting to suck for the futuristic games. Infinite Warfare bought us so much weapons. Just like Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare bought us so much weapons, and weapons variance in multiplayer side. Uh, the variance was just way too much. It was probably over you know, hundreds and hundreds of variants for each weapon. But hey, I give this game another 3.5 out of 10. This is one of my least favorite Call of Duty of all time. Next up, we have Call of Duty Ghost. This game was the very first next-gen Call of Duty game, and the graphics were cool. Uh, so I really did enjoy uh, the multiplayer of this game. For some reason, I don't know, it was a lot funner, if that's the word. It was more fun, to be proper, because... Uh, people didn't really like this game on multiplayer side, but I think it was well balanced, man. The weapons were cool, but the only thing that sucked about this game is that it has one of the worst, you know, score streaks, aka kill streaks. And if they did good on kill streaks in this game, and you know, have better maps and all that, it would have been a terrific game. But Call of Duty goes for Xbox One. I'm gonna give this game a six out of ten. Not too bad. Next up. We have Modern Warfare Remastered. I should have done it with Infinite Warfare, but I bought the game separately. But a Modern Warfare Remastered was one of the best Call of Duty Remastered game that was made for the first few weeks when they came out. Until they start, you know, lying to us about, oh, they're not going to bring any weapons. That gives them keep everything cosmetic. But overall, Activision fooled us once again. And they put in so much weapons, variants, and so much, you know, uh, supply drops and all that. Yes, supply drops. Like I want to say, supply drops started from Call of Duty um, Advanced Warfare, and it carried over to all of the recent Call of Duty. So, uh, supply drop in this game, which pretty much killed this game's, you know, long-lasting appeal because players were really stoked about this game, like myself, but then, man, they just did pretty bad. But the campaign-wise, it's good, man. Um, they didn't really add anything to the campaign because, you know, it's trying to make it... You know, like the old Call of Duty 4. Well, the graphics were pretty cool, man. I, I like the graphics in this game. And the multiplayer side, like I said, it was fun for the first few weeks when it came out. So, yep, that's that. So, I get this game, hmm, a 7 out of 10. Not too bad. Now, we are at the final two Call of Duty games. And coming in at, at second to last, that's Call of Duty World War II. Okay, let's get into this game a little bit here. Uh... Call of Duty World War II, you know, the first installment by Sledgehammer Games. Uh, the campaign-wise, you know, it's, you know, the basic uh, Call of Duty World War II type of game where, uh, you know, you, you fight off, you know, enemies at the D-Day and all that cool stuff, taking over territories during World War II. Um, I enjoyed the campaign side of this game. Man, the campaign was cool, man. I kind of not really related too much to this game because uh, the campaign, the characters were pretty cool, you know. Didn't have too much character development, but 
uh, you get attached characters pretty cool in this game. It's not. It's been something that's been missing Call of Duty for a very, very long time. Uh, the campaign was very good, and the multiplayer, man, that was hmm, had one of the worst multiplayer launch in Call of Duty history. The headquarters was just, you know, it wasn't messed up for a long time. I think it was messed up for like a few days, and the game was literally unplayable for like almost a full day when it launched. But um, I put in quite a few hours in this game, you know. I think I'm second prestige and all that, but that's my least played Call of Duty right now. So it was cool though. Multiplayer is cool, but then they started adding, you know, more weapons to the game. I said, oh, come on, don't start with the weapon stuff now. Because the weapons were kind of pretty cool, man, because it was kind of well balanced. Uh, few weapons here and there had, the, you know, their bad side because some weapons are OP and there's been so much patches in this game. They patched every single weapon, man. It's like... It just left it the way it was, you know, didn't want to tweak anything and all that, but uh, the game was pretty cool, you know. Uh, surprisingly, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I like this game, and it's pretty cool. Now, for my favorite Call of Duty for the next generation, and that is, yes, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Although this is a futuristic uh, type of game, it is good, you know. It it made the, uh, the exoskeleton, it was really, really balanced in this game. You cannot argue about that. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has one of the best futuristic movement um, aside from uh, Infinite Warfare and Advanced Warfare. Black Ops 3 was, you know, well crafted, you know, because, I mean, Treyarch is literally one of the best uh, Call of Duty developer up to date now. And Black Ops 3, I spent so much time in this game. I think I'm almost master prestige. I think I'm on my 10th prestige. Yeah, I believe so. That was cool, man. I put a lot of weapons. I mean, uh, excuse me. I put a lot of you know, long gameplay in this game. I like the weapons, even though they have supply drops and, you know, they have uh, weapons variants and all that. It was pretty cool, you know, it was balanced. You know, all the weapons were good, even though they added a lot of them in supply drop. But, uh, yeah, there it is, guys. That is the ending of my video. If you guys do enjoy that, please do not forget to smack that like button. Uh, like I said, we're almost 2,000 subscribers. I mean, excuse me, 1,000 subscribers. So, uh, yeah, make sure to rate, comment, and let me know in the comment section below. What is your favorite Call of Duty for next generation? Like always guys, Ace of Gaming here. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and peace out.